Back in the 80s, if you're not old enough to remember, Rick Pitino did an unbelievable job with Providence, led them to the Final Four. He won a national title at Kentucky, gave the NBA a shot twice with the Knicks and Celtics, and then it felt like he found his Kentucky home at Louisville. He's been there since 2001, won a national title. But when we look back, I don't know how we're going to categorize him. Obviously a great coach. One of those, get him in a game and he can coach. He can outcoach most people. He's one of those guys that feels like he could take your players and beat you. He could take his players and beat you. That's how good he is. His coaching chops, full court defense. You know, that's what he's known for. This investigation, previous scandals, obviously going to cloud that significantly. And it's not sure how this all plays out. I don't know what Patino's legacy is. I'm sure he's not thinking about that right now, but it's complicated. At worst, he's going to go down as one of the faces of corruption in college basketball. At best, he's a Hall of Famer, but he's not thinking about that now. And I don't know if he gets another job. People said, well, what about the NBA? Rick can't, you know, the, the, the thing that bothers a lot of these guys when they're great in college and you go, oh, why don't you do that in the pros? Could you imagine Mike Krzyzewski, even though he was going to go to the Lakers, the number of losses you have in two weeks is what you have an entire season at Duke. You can't handle the losses. The number of games is one thing. The losses is something else. And even if you have a good season, that's 30 losses. So I don't know if Rick Pitino goes into the NBA, but that's the least of my concerns right now. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 